very short, but all the same length. And if you crisscross them, then you could tie them together so it looks like this. It's been tied together with some string. And then you can start wrapping some colourful wool like this around so it looks like a very colourful spider's web. And then when you get to the end, you can add bits like these feathers. And it would look lovely in the winter garden. I wonder what we're going to be making now with Mr. Maker. Mr. Maker. Mr. Maker. Nice to see you. Look, I've got so much stuff. Just think of all the wonderful things I could make. There's no room in here for all that stuff. <laughs> all right, it's no good complaining, Doodle Draws. All this stuff's got to go somewhere. That, stop it. Stop, stop it. Come, come here, you. Right, in you get. There's plenty of room. In you get. Now, will you all please stop? Thank you. <laughs> oh, excuse you. You are full, aren't you? I've got no more room in my doodle drawers. But hang on, hang on, hold on to your hairbrushes. I've got an idea. Try making a junk picture using all the bits and pieces that you don't know what to do with. Let's make it. You can use anything. Some old toys. Some pipe cleaners. trunk. No, I don't think we need that. <laughs> some bottle tops. And some dried peas and lentils. You'll also need some sticky white PVA glue and a piece of cardboard. Now, to start making your junk picture, like this one here, take your piece of cardboard and start placing your bits of junk on top. Now, you can arrange your bits any way you like. It's up to you. And when you're happy with your picture, stick it all down with glue and leave it to dry. Doesn't it look great? And you can try lots of other designs too. You could paint the background first, like this blue one here. Or you could place all of your junk really tightly together to create a different effect, like this one. Now all of my junk has a new home and there's loads of room in my drawers. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. <laughs> Make your drawers happy and try making a junk picture. Who's that snoring? <laughs> These are the shapes. Ah, oh, they're asleep. I've got an idea. Let's wake them up. <laughs> Come on, it's time for a puzzle. <laughs> Take it away. I am. 
How many squares can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven squares. Well done, Square. It's time to go back on the shelf. <laughs> Those shapes are great. Tucky here. <laughs> Minute make time. Minute make time. It's minute make time. Come on. <laughs> Now, today we're going to make a snake pot for all your bits and pieces. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like my snakeskin jacket. Yes, and to make the snake pot, you will need some paints and a pencil and some air drying clay, which you can get from any arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> Here's my air drying clay. Now, do you think it's possible to make a snake pot in just a minute? Not a chance! Hmm, let's find out. I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it all at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Start the clock! Right, get a lump of clay and start rolling it into a long sausage shape. Be as quick as you can, but as careful as you can too, because you don't want the clay to break. Hurry up! I'm going as quick as I can. Don't put me off, I'm on a roll. Right. There we go. Right, this looks quite good. Now start twirling around your sausage shape like that, and then building it up into a pot shape like this. There we go. Building it around. Here we go, round and round it goes. Here we go. Here we go, and then turn it round like that and turn up the head and give it a squidge. Then get two other little bits, put them on the front like that. There are the eyes, and get a pencil and make eyes. I did it! Lucky, lucky, lucky! Just made it! And when it's hard and you've got more than a minute, you can paint it. Look at this one here. It's green with white and red spots, but you can do any colour you want. Look, it's got yellow stripes. Ooh, how about a yellow one? Great! This one's got pink spots too. A snake pot made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take a piece of clay and roll it into a long sausage shape. Coil it round until you make a pot shape like this. Bend the end of it to make a head and then with two other small pieces of clay, make the eyes. Dot them with a pencil and leave your snake pot to dry. Try making it in a minute! I don't know. Let's go and see. I'm red. I'm light blue. It's a rocket! 
Well done, everyone. See you next time. Now it's time to... Frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now have a look at this. This fantastic tropical picture was made using just two pieces of cardboard. It's very easy, but looks so good, you'll be able to frame it. You'll need a long piece of cardboard and a short piece of cardboard, with some black, white and yellow paint. To make your tropical picture, start by dipping the long edge of a piece of cardboard into some black paint. Now use the card to paint with to build up your picture. Why not start by painting some grass? And a tree. This is going to be a palm tree. Make the trunk with the short side of the cardboard. You can twist the paint with the card to make different textures in the paint. Palm trees have lots of spiny branches. Use the long side of the card to make the middle and the short side to make the leaves. Doesn't that look great already? Now, to finish off your picture, why not use the short edge of another clean piece of card to make a circle like this? Some yellow and some white. There we go. It's the sun. And you could even highlight some of the grass and the leaves with the yellowy white paint. See, you don't need any brushes at all to create art. All you need is an old bit of card. Why don't you have a go? What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! And next, a messy picture. Watch this. Any ideas what it is yet? It's a bee! Beautiful! <laughs> it gets messy doing all this art! But one of the best things about making things is that you can often turn one thing into another. You can turn some pencil shavings into a lovely picture. You can turn an egg box into a dog. But what do you think we could turn this into? A useful but quite boring looking cleaning up sponge. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Let's make it sponge toast and tissue paper baked beans. A work of art that's good enough to eat. As well as our sponge, we'll need some things from the doodle drawers. Some tissue paper. A plastic knife and fork. Some sticky white PVA glue. Some paint. Some plastic sheep. No, not really. I'm just messing around. We don't need these. And a paper plate. Whoa! Now, to make your sponge toast and tissue paper baked beans like this, first take your scissors and trim your sponge so it's rounded at one end and so it looks a bit more like a slice of toast. Be careful, though, because scissors are sharp. Then get some white paint and mix it with some brown paint to make a light brown toast colour. Mm. 
There. Now, brush your paint mixture all over your sponge. Now paint brown around the edges for a crust effect. It looks just like a piece of toast. Let's stick it on our plate. Now, whilst that dries, get some orange tissue paper, or you could use white tissue paper and colour it in orange, and roll lots and lots of small, tiny tissue paper balls very tightly. These will be our baked beans. Yummy. There's one. And there is two. Here's a whole plate full. Now, let's stick some beans on our toast and plate. Now mix some white sticky PVA glue with some orange paint. This makes the baked bean sauce, which we can pour all over our beans. There. Now for a finishing touch, a plastic fork and a plastic knife. Stick everything down and leave it to dry. All finished. Now, if you like the idea of turning this into something different, have a look at some of the other ideas you could make. Try making sponge sandwiches with tissue paper lettuce, cardboard tomato, and foam ham and cheese. Mmm! Or how about sponge fish fingers, sponge chips, tissue paper peas, and ketchup made from a blob of red paint. So the next time you see a boring old sponge, you'll know you can turn it into something far more interesting. Wow! Look at that! This is great, because I was feeling a bit hungry, actually. And it... Oh! Time to go! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas. Once upon a time, word came that some magical stories were born. The whole world celebrated. But where in the world were these tales? Up a tree, on the moon, in the sky. Nobody knew. Everyone was sad until one day a boy had an idea. As sure as day follows night, he said, these stories can only be in one place. And so, the telly tales were found here, new to CBeebies, weekdays at 4.30. The end. The diggers and the dumper trucks got caught up in a jam. Not the sticky type, the tricky type. It's called a traffic jam. All oh, you lorries, trucks and vans, quieten down, quieten down. I can help. I'm the traffic jam man. My favourite food is spinach 